It has long been proven that music has the most positive effects on brain function. Music and art can be seen as the motivation for many of the accomplishments of the past century. Despite her day-to-day -day responsibilities as a mother, a wife, and an accountant, Motayo has rekindled her love and passion for music. Every day I rise, I sit for directions for my dreams. And by His grace, I know I'll make it. I'm gonna make it. Well, Motayo Adeliji joins me now to talk about her musical joy. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Your music came like a tsunami. It's all over the community. I want to know, what actually inspired you about the song, the writing and of course the release of the song? Okay. Um, so some 12 years ago, I came about a book, Be The Best. It was written by Matthew Ashimolo. Oh, okay. And um, while I was reading the book, through the pages of the book, I got inspired to write the song. And I wrote the first verse and the chorus of the song, and I never got to finish the song. So many years after, I was at home in my house one day, and you know, the song just came back to me, and I just started singing it. And before I knew what happened, I wrote the second verse, I wrote the bridge of the song, and the song was complete. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it was a beautiful song and all that, I, I didn't want to re release it at first, and um, I had to um, watch some interviews by some prominent people. Right. And they also talked about who do things, right? And they talked about um, how sometimes they have, they don't have the courage to actually even do what they want to do, but they still go ahead and do it anyway. And, you know, just watching them talk and from their experience that gave me the courage to push forward and um, put the song out there. So um, afterwards, I spoke to my husband and we decided to run with it. And right. Before that's we how go we did. into details of yeah. this, you know, the content of that song, mm -hmm. the message is there. I'm a bit curious. Why did it take you so long to release this song? Uh, so at some point, I stopped singing. <laughs> <laughs> and um, why? Why did you stop singing too? So. Um, I moved, I was living in Ireland at the time I wrote the song, okay. Dublin, oh, okay. Republic of okay. Ireland. So okay. I did my university education and um, I moved back to Nigeria. I moved back to Lagos and life got busy. I had never lived in Lagos hmm. before. Life got busy and um, every other thing took first place. I, I tried singing. I sang a couple of times, even at work, like probably during Christmas carols or something. And I would just get pooped and dragged, pulled and dragged and, you know, come sing. I featured like a few times, you know, singing, but I was not actively singing. And um, when we were coming back to Canada as a family, one of my, one of my priorities, one of my desires was that I would have the time to actually sing again. And um, yeah, I'm in Canada and I'm singing again. Interesting. <laughs> There's something that stands out yeah. on this song, and that's the part that says, I'll make it there. And I assume that there have been some stories behind that you haven't told people yet. But of course, you know, music <laughs> is a medium of communication. Tell us, yeah. what is that message that you had embedded in this song? Okay. So to tell you how these things came to pass, I will still tell you about the beginning of the song and that was what i was reading in the book so talking about a place of glory a place of purpose that i have to get to so that is actually like looking inward looking into yourself and um, bringing out your god-given potentials developing it and maximizing the potentials you have on the inside of you you know when you first of all have a like a business idea or something you want to do you get excited right then you try to move towards it and um you probably face oppositions you struggle you don't have the finances to push through so in my own probably for me i moved back to nigeria and life got so busy that i could not even think music right then i got married started having children go to work as in a lot of us know how our legal life works you wake up uh four o'clock you leave the house five 5 30 you probably come back home 10 o'clock the only thing you want to do is just go back to bed and wake up the mo next morning and do the same day as do the, do the same thing all over again 
you don't have time to be creative. To be creative, to express music, you need to you need to be relaxed. You need to you need your space to be creative. You can't kind of live that kind of life. And well, let me let me speak for myself. <laughs> there are people living in Lagos that do music, so let me speak for myself. So I actually probably I needed a, a, a place where I could relax and and be productive and actually bring out my creativity right. but um living in lagos wasn't doing that for me like the my life in lagos wasn't giving me the opportunity to be able to do that yeah. so um that is the part of the that part leads us to the second verse yeah. that speaks about your pain your struggles your failures you try to do things you fail you can't um you you don't push through you're not getting the kind of result you're expected to get and all that when that happens you kind of want to give up on yourself you kind of want to slow down or probably you even believe this is not meant for me uh, no i can't do this let me just let me just give up it's it's a waste of time yeah. and all that and that pushed that that uh, from that point that would push into the bridge of the song which spoke about um pushing aside every negativity and voices in your head in fact right. even some people would have told you what do you think you are doing this is not working just you know just stop it lord this is not even meant for you and um, you push those voices aside because you, when you hear those voices sometimes we go back into our shells into our house and that is what we meditate on oh that person said it's not going to work um, i faced this rejection and all that and you feel like it's not going to work and you keep hearing those voices in your head but to move out of that space you need to shut out all the negativities right. all the voices telling you that you can't do it telling you that you you can't make it telling you that you're not enough telling you that it's not good enough you need to shut that aside take your stand get up crawl walk run towards your goal right. if you have to fight on the way to fight any opposition coming your way fight it until you get there i'm gonna stand and strike run and fight till i make it i'm gonna Yeah. I mean, how do you really juggle this between being a mother, a wife, an accountant, and uh, some people say this to you at some places, some churches, as a <laughs> song leader and stuff like that. How do you juggle this? <laughs> okay, so when you have a passion for something, I believe you always make out time for the things you love, right? And um, for me personally, I always, sometimes, sometimes ago, I was discussing this with my husband that singing was actually is something that comes to me naturally. Like I don't have to work hard right. to sing. There are, I know a lot of us have things that we can do like that, that comes naturally to yeah. us. Uh, so even though I had to like juggle work and everything together with music, it was it's not a big demand on me. Yes, it is time consuming when you have to like consider all these things but because it is passion right yeah talking yeah. about passion uh, yeah. one will be uh, thinking again do we see expect something uh, is anything in the works for your fans definitely yeah. so this is just this is just to wet the ground <laughs> <laughs> this is just to wet the ground this is just an introduction of myself to let you know this is this is who i am this is what i do um i have i'll be ha for next year i have some some things planned out for next year yeah. so i will be looking at them um, doing four more songs next yeah. year written yeah. songs that i wrote All right yeah this is interesting and on a final note what would you be saying to your fans how can they access your music and what message finally really do you have for them the message i have for all my fans right now is the same message that the song is saying looking word don't give up on your abilities don't give up on your dreams don't give up on what you have been given what you have in your hand every man has something Absolutely. and a lot of the times we a lot of times we look at what we have and we think it's small and we look at somebody else and we think oh they're so talented and you even help them plan their life or plan their passion or or, or tell them oh this is how to take your your talent to the next level right. but you look at what you, is in your hands and you say it is not enough okay. my message to everybody is right right now is look at what you have in your hands and make use of it start from where you are and grow it 
nurture it. Nothing should stop you from using what you have in your hands. That's beautiful. Thank uh, you. I think that would be a better place to leave it at. <laughs> Thank you for coming to the show again. Thank you. <laughs> all right. And, and that was Omotayo Adedeji. You can find her music on all music distribution platforms or simply follow her on her social media handles to know more. You can also write to us at communityupdateNS at gmail.com for other inquiries. I am Promise Okoye. Take care.